Hello everyone, we are going to solve problem 93 of chapter 16. Remember AB is rotating at omega AB 6 radian per second. Determine the velocity of point P and the angular velocity of member BPD. So we want to know the velocity of point P and also the angular velocity of our member BD. P. So we have two unknown velocity at P and also right here velocity at P and also omega B E D is unknown. So this is one of uh, problems that is much easier to use the IC method rather than uh, a relative velocity approach. So to find omega BPD, we need to find the IC for that member at this shown instant. Again, it's instantaneous center of zero velocity. So we can find AC for, for an instance that these two are 60 degrees. And the next instant, there would be a new IC. So we need to know what two points do we have for our determination of IC. I know I have point B, and just by looking at the problem, I know that I have the distance, I have omega IB, so I can find the velocity of B. So, but for now, I'm just interested in the direction. So if this one is moving in, uh, and this would be the direction of, if this one is counterclockwise, pushing this, and this one would be uh, counterclockwise uh, as well. So finding IC, I need to draw a perpendicular line to these two. So that would be in direction here and here. So that would be the location of IC somewhere here. So if I uh, I know the angles, this is 60 degrees. This is 60 degrees as well. And we know this angle has to be 60 degrees. So this triangle is equilateral triangle. So each edge has the same dimension. So if this one is 400, this edge is 400, and the other one is 400 as well. So I can write, if this is IC, this is D, and this is B. And all of them are 400 millimeter or 0.4 meter. 0 0.4, 0 0.4, and Point four. So we talked about the common points between the members that are very helpful for finding the unknown. Here, based on the known omega, which is omega AB, and the dimension I can find velocity at B. So VB is simply RBA or A to B and omega AB. That would be point 0.2 times six, so point two times six, which gives me uh, the velocity at B would be 1.2 meter per second. Now that I have the velocity at B, I can find the unknown relative velocity, omega BPD. So I have the velocity at B, and also point B is on member B, BPD. So velocity at B is the distance from IC to B. So R BIC omega BPD. The only unknown would be the omega velocity would be 1.2 times 0.4, so omega would be 3 radium per second. Now that I have omega, I have the omega for this member, and this member has a part P2, so we can draw part P as well. Now I have the location of IC, 
and I have the omega, I can find a velocity at any point. And point P is on our member, so I can find a velocity of point P. P is R E I C omega B P D. So what is the distance from I C to P? So this one is 250 millimeter and this distance would be 0.4 sine 60. So let's write it 0.25 plus 0.4 sine 60 times omega, which is three. The velocity of point P would be one point seven nine meter per second. So I found the velocity of point V P, which is on this member. And again, the approach that I use is to find I C and to find a location of I C. Once we have the location of I C, then we need to find the omega for that member by a known velocity. As long as we have one known velocity and the distance, we can find omega. The known velocity was point B, which is also in me on member AB. So we found a velocity of B, then we found omega, BPD, and once we have the location of IC and the angular velocity, we can find a velocity at any point. And that's the uh, uh, velocity at point P. And we know the angular acceleration for would be in this direction, and we can find the angular the direction of velocity at P as well in this instance with this we draw the radius, we can find uh, the direction of velocity as as well as the magnitude. 